Okay, I've got another one of these um, jewelry flat plates to uh, machine smooth. As you can see, it's got all pits and marks in it again. I think I've had one of these a few videos ago. Um, seems to be a common thing with them. They just wear out, get marks in them after hitting them with a hammer and stuff. So what I've got to do, I've got to machine it as smooth as I can possibly get it, mirror finish. Um, I'll set it up in a four jaw chuck and I'll put some um, little copper shims on there, on the outside, just to stop it marking the job. So I'll set that up now. Okay, I'll use a dial indicator on the front face and get it running nice and flat. Doesn't matter too much about the uh, what is put it ovality of it this way because it's not going to really going to affect it as long as they're flat. Okay, I'll just set that up with a dial indicator. Um, as you can see it's not too bad from just doing it by eye so we're looking for the high spots and that's high there so we'll just tap it and high there Yeah, that'll do me, I think. I'll just give them a nip up, tighten the jaws up. Hopefully it won't move too much. Okay. Let's see if we can tweak that a little bit now. See how good we can get it. I think that'll do. I'll live with that one. Okay, the tool I'm going to use is just a cardboard insert.
Okay, that turned out good straight away. Alright, so we'll just buff that and clean it up now and be good. Okay, this turned out really smooth. What I'll do, I'll just hit it with some scotch bright, see if I can bring a bit more mirror finish on it. I'll just take it out of the chuck. Okay, there you go. As you can see, it's a nice mirror finish. Way better than what it was when I started. Okay, on to the next job.